right. The next question says, um, my program has uh, bench press protocols like this, where it'll call for a single load of eight RPE and then multiple sets of a certain percentage afterwards. So um, even in sometimes as many as 10 sets or sometimes more than that. Uh, my problem is after three or four sets of heavy doubles or singles, my left shoulder flares up. I'm struggling with finishing the workout. My touch and go bench protocol is 10s and 11s, uh, and I have no shoulder pain on those days. If my shoulder flares up because of higher intensities, uh, or is my shoulder flaring up because of higher intensities? If so, how can I improve my bench and stay pain free? Well, this is a tough question to answer in general, especially in this format. So I don't know exactly what's going on with your shoulder. Um, from what you said, it seems like you're observing that it's flaring up uh, with exposure to higher intensity work, especially multiple sets. So we need to figure out what, first of all, it would be nice to figure out what specifically is going on with your shoulder and can we fix it directly? That would be ideal. Um, I think you should work with a professional to get that figured out. You should deal with injuries like this assertively. Uh, don't just put it off. Don't just wait for it to get better. Um, you know, deal with these things. You know, if there's a if there's something that you can do, or even if there's something that you cannot do that will help it get better, then we want to know about that and we want to make sure that that's part of our plan. Now, with that said. Uh, in the meantime, I think you should operate within your your observed limits. So, um, if you're seeing that your shoulder pain your shoulder pain is beginning to flare up after three or four sets, we know that that's all you have to work with. So, what I would recommend that you do is to uh, hit your single, and then go to the percentage that's required for the day, and do a handful of hard sets. You know, obviously at this point you don't want to do endless sets of a certain percentage, but you can do, you know, depending on how much capacity your shoulder has left, you could do two or three hard sets. You know, now what I mean by hard sets is taking it to an RPE 9 or 10. So you'll get the volume in uh, and hope. So if it's limited to exposure to high intensity, um, in terms of number of sets, that would be a way for you to get the stress in. And you'll probably want to limit it to more of a 9 RPE instead of a 10, just because if you're already irritating those tissues, then you know pushing it to a 10 RPE is probably not the smartest move. Uh, so limit it more to a 9, but um, the hope is that that'll let you get a workload that you need uh, in fewer exposures and with less overall volume, with less overall wear and tear, Hopefully that's how that plays out. Now, it could be that that's that it's not anchored to the number of sets, but more the total number of repetitions. That'll be a thing that you need to figure out. And again, working with a, a good physical therapist on this is going to be key. Um, they're going to be able to help you sort this out a lot faster. Let me know. Uh, if that's something that you want help with, because I can put you in touch with someone, uh, we can probably help you in terms of uh, getting a chance to work with them at a, a reasonable price point and, and so on. So um, let me know if that's something that you're interested in, and hopefully we can get this, sol this problem solved, hopefully for good, and then you won't have to worry about it anymore. And uh, But if not, we could at least figure out what's going on and maybe what our limiting factors are going to be. And I think once we know those things, we'll have a better way of, you know, approaching it and dealing with it.